Dargervis here with a, another match. It's March 11th, 2023. And, uh, yeah. We're playing on Evora, which is a map I'm not very familiar with. Which is part of the reason why I'm hosting <laughs> on that map. It's not something I've seen. It's not something I've played on more than twice. So, uh, I want to see how people play on it. I think it'll be fun to watch. I think it'll be fun to cast. And I think the players are going to be in for a bit of a surprise. I imagine if I haven't played on it that much, I bet no one else has. As far as I can tell, I've played on more weird maps than anybody else. Everybody is kind of obsessed with pillars. At least anyone who's willing to host is. Uh, but I mean, even the Fight Night people are sometimes just want to play on pillars. So we'll see how it goes. Team 1, blue team, is ANS. Team 2, red team, is OSP. Looks like both teams have a lot of ships. I'm seeing several escorts on this team. Seen quite a few on Team 2 as well. Very interested in that. These uh, small fleet tactics have been very, very interesting. We've got the Royal Canadian Air Force represented here with a Solomon. All right. Well, clearly I spoke too soon on uh, small ships. That's as big as it gets, boy. Came with an escort, though, which is a good idea. All right, we got dropped in on blue team, so we're going to rail Solomon plus a beam? Three rails and a beam on this Solomon. Okay. I don't think that's going to do very well. We'll see. Ewar Escort. Got an Axford. That is gunned up. It's very gunned up. Got some point blanks. Or uh, some point defenses. And some blanket, a blanket jammer. Oh my, I can't talk right now. I'm not sure what's up. A couple rains escorts, missiles and E war, nice. An illuminator on one. I wonder if he's got some semi act missiles. Got a and a pinot on the sprinter. Okay, got a light cruiser group. Gun light cruisers with Mark II missiles on the backpack. Not a bad setup. Pretty strong setup, actually. I should probably do that. Because I usually put Ewar on the back of my voxels, but it doesn't work very well. It's hard to get that angled. And some strong point defense Sarissa frigates. So that'll be very powerful if the OSP team has containers. Oh my, what is this? A lot of missile launchers on this bad boy. Man, ANS, another game with the ANS going hard on the missiles. Let's take a look at you. Looks like a container ship. It is a container ship. What do you got? Some standard rocket and a whole lot of rocket containers and a whole lot of mine containers. Looks like a battery of mines are going off already. Those are probably going over to Alpha. Choke that up. Enemies. Keep the uh, ANS fleet out. We got two container fleets. Oh, my. Noticeably no point defense. Yeah, just bank launchers and a liar bird. No point of it. That could easily get taken out by that missile voxel. Mines and uh, package. More, more containers. An immense quantity of containers on these. I don't know if they're going to perform that well, considering the volume of PD on the ANS fleet. Those Sarissa rains are going to, well, should come in clutch. There's no guarantee. Positioning could be off. We got a little fleet of uh, plasma boys, plasma monitors, plus a bullseye scout and an E-War scout, or an E-W-R scout. Yeah, those are those are pr pretty standard little group here. A dangerous one, a menacing one, but a standard one. Got, are these all? No, okay, so these are different groups. Plasmas and roll-offs. Plasma and roll-offs. Plasma and roll-offs. 
Oh my, that's very dangerous. Alright, Pavise, Jammer and an Illuminator. So a little bit of a little bit of E War, a little bit of uh of uh point defense. Presumably the Mark One, the VLS forty sixes on these ships have AMMs in them. Well, they might have direct fire type one missiles, I don't know. I'm betting AMMs though. So it'll be that's a very strange fleet. So Crust has kind of a normal fleet here. Blyas has a strange monitor frigate comp centric around missiles and plasma. And we got a couple container ships. So no no line cruisers. Oh man, I hate all the fucking purple shit on these rocks. I forgot about that. It messes with my eyes. I don't think I'm gonna be hosting another match on this uh, on this place. I think it's a good map, but the just looking at the attack view here is ugh. maybe it's fine. I don't have to look at the attack view. Problem solved. NS team is a bit more of a standard force, so OSP is really gonna have to be playing weird to make use of this. And they're already starting with the mind spam. Could catch an unprepared player out. And they uh, really mess with them. Nobody's capping. Blue team's capping Delta. In general, the uh, protector team is just not pushing. Maybe it's because all these fleets are in uh, tight formations that'll really handicap your ability to move around. So don't, don't, don't do that. <laughs> don't fly around in tight formation. Yeah, some more mime spam going out. This guy doesn't know what's mines. He's trying to get the hell out of there. Yeah, chilling here and blowing up all those mines is a great thing. Uh-oh. The real containers are following up those mines. Which uh, could be a real problem. They've grabbed Delta. They can get out. You'd waste the mines. If the point defense is too busy firing at the mines, it's not going to see these containers, though they are getting hit by the Sarissa Rains. And they're going after the active decoy. One does go after the Voxel. Oh, and it misses just barely off the port quarter. Sorry, buddy. No, no soup for you. He's straight probably target firing those containers on in here only firing five at a time do you not bring any programming array programming array man where are the points on this i'm not sure oh it's in the it's in the missiles presumably because uh Yeah, slow programming speed is not it. Not it at all. Got the arrays for the extra channels, but low speed means you can't volley fire. Let's look at the internals on our other container ship. No, not you. Awesome sauce. Programming arrays. Just programming arrays as well. Yeah. Hybrids coming out. Ah, uh, those containers are going to have a real bad time against these hybrids. Unless these have also been track fired, because if they've also been track fired, they're going directly into this wall. Some savior AM AMMs coming out. Looks like the package is also being shot towards these. Yeah, this is why you don't, this is why you don't track fire your missiles, folks. It's a good way to send them directly into a rocks. Cruise guide is very powerful. These are just going to miss. They're sniffing that chaff. They're getting gunned down by PD. Whole lot of missiles on both sides. Looks like a mine has spotted something. Where is this going? Oh no! The monitor fleet is running with its comms off! That is, that is a huge problem. 
Yeah, this player might just get taken out of the fight by friendly fire. Which is real unfortunate. He doesn't... I don't, I don't think he knows. I don't think he knows that that's what is causing that. Because these mines are hitting the whole fleet. Oh, yeah. Well, um... That... That might be an auto blue team win, because that's one player almost completely taken out. And a huge amount of munitions wasted here on Bravo. And this, mo this monitor team is pretty much out of the fight. This one survived intact. The rest of them are really beat up. Really beat up. God. Three restorers, you can maybe get some semblance of fighting going on with that one. That's unfortunate. Uh, uh, presumably a new player. Oh boy. Here there's roll off launchers. Looks like they're going for the Solomon. Looks like they've track fired the Solomon, which means all of these are going to slam into that rock. Yeah, there goes a few of them. There goes a whole bunch of them. And then, uh, amazing. Oh, dear. OSP team having problems. Lots of problems. This is interesting because, uh, in the lobby is the ANS team that had all the, all the players with low experience rates, but. Rank ain't everything, is it? Another track fire on this time in Axford. Wait, was this in Axford the whole time? Yeah, the Solomon's back there. I can't read ships. Confirmed. But that is going to be taken out by an entire team's worth of point defense, but not all of it. Oh, the three that get through miss. They were going after that chaff. Trying to use your missiles like guns isn't it. Getting some plasma hits on this Axford, which will cause problems later on. Or should cause problems later on. I don't know. It might be fine. Generally, the OSP team is not pressing the attack. And the Alliance Force is staying together. They're staying together real tight. Protector forces are spread out. They don't have that much mass to begin with. Just those two monitor fleets. Well, really, one and a half monitor fleets now. This one got the patootie beat off of it. We've got uh, the missile voxel down here off by himself trying to do some weird stuff with angles. It's a good idea. There are not going to be any missiles getting through this fleet. No way. All that point events concentrated around one small area highly unlikely we got some mark twos coming out mark twos going in generally haven't been impressed with the protector missile strikes thus far so i'm more interested in watching these um which looks like at least the one we're currently following is gonna just go away Okay, those have both been destroyed. Let's come over here. Yeah, and those missiles have been destroyed. Well, this is a very interesting... Oh, one got through two. Three right into the torso of that voxel. That starboard amidships is hurting. DC Central down. That's a big problem considering how expensive those are. A whole bunch more incoming. I spoke way too soon on the PD front. This voxel is getting absolutely annihilated. Not much less. The reinforced CIC doing work. Zero percent. It has to be hit again to die, but it's... Uh, there's nothing really left on this thing. That boy's out of the fight. More missiles then coming from... Innis team also going to be deflected. 
Maybe. Maybe that Pavise tracking is terrible. There it goes. Yikes. Black is your friend. Missile Voxel is still down here making moves. More missiles and plasma coming out of the Protectorate team. These might be going into that already dead Voxel, though. Voxel's taking a gun beating from the remains of this monitor flame team. Fleam? <laughs> Fleet and team together. Nothing doing on those 200s. Containers coming in, and those are just getting popped with Sarissa's. Defenders are helping, but it's it's really the Sarissa's doing the damage here. Crust is out of here. He's just going to go ahead and surrender. And disconnect. Not even going to bother. That's unfortunate because a couple of these ships are still in the game. And I think two of these were Ewar ships. Well, that was damaged. Yeah. Two of these frigates could have been real useful for the team to have. Rocking containers doing clever sneaking around the... Uh... Oh, one's tracking onto that Solomon. It's staged. Nice. Good hits. A few hits on this voxel. Man, that is a lot of damage to that Solomon. Maybe I need to start messing around with rocket containers. Uh, the problem is they're really bad against small ships because like we saw against the voxel, they just, it, after it stages, it just misses. Which has been generally my experience with those, but that was back when it first came out and I wasn't as good with containers. So it's certainly something to think about putting in the arsenal. More mines coming out on Bravo. Hopefully no one else comes over here and gets themselves killed. These monitors live as a monument to the foolishness of protector teams running with their radar, their uh, comms net off. It might help your radar returns, but it uh, is a good way to die to mines. That was a little... Go straight that asteroid, lovely. Oh, we got one heading down towards this Axford. I don't think it's going to hit, though. One is not enough. Axford and his little escorts. Oh, the escorts are firing off a large volley of missiles. At this group right here. Huge stream of rockets looks to be missing. Uh, this Axford it might have taken a few hits, or this uh, Solomon, it might have taken a few hits. Oh boy. Here they come. They're weaving. They're dodging no point defense because this team doesn't have any point defense, it looks like. There are a couple of uh, police shots coming out. It is not going to be enough. This monitor has been deleted. And this frigate has also taken a lot of damage. Ships are also getting rather shot up. More containers, interesting pathing on those. Ah, he's launching them hot. No? No, they're just pathing weird. It's also getting sh the hell shot out of them by the missile voxel. That's. Very good for that voxel, because this thing could dump out a lot of damage. Looks like it's going to be taken out before it has the opportunity to dump everything. Already lost a few container ranks. One is going critical right now, 
and is not being restored. It's being prioritized. Oh. To keep an eye on that. Looks like a whole lot more packages going after that Vakul. I don't know if it's going to have the point defenses for that. We're going to zoom over there just as soon as we can. Just as soon as we see what happens with these. Okay, those are probably all going to get taken out by point defense. Oh, yeah. All right. So many more missiles going in. This has just been a missile kind of game. And my computer is not liking it. We're uh, down to 50% tick rate. Looks like he's going to full dodge all these containers, but there are more. There are mines coming in off of Alpha. It's a huge problem for this missile voxel. He's fired off a lot of what he's got, but not everything. Looks like that rocket blast didn't know what to lock on to. So this guy seems to be fine. More mines, more mines, more mines. Too many mines, too many mines. Ooh, good hit. The underside of that voxel. The keel of this voxel is taking an absolute beating. Yeah, and that's the point defense down, which means that's going to be the voxel down shortly. It looks like there's a cook-off going on in one of the missile launchers, and I don't think that team's going to be fast enough to fix that. Even if they are, this thing is... Pretty much dead in the water. Um, the drive and the reactor are still functioning. The CIC is down. Okay, that's the end of it. CIC is down. CI, see you later. Yeah! All right, we got more containers going in. These container ships have... Well, they've probably been doing more than anything else on this team, to be honest. Because the one monitor fleet got annihilated by friendly fire. Well, ironically, due to containers, partially, but it's really more the player's error. Um, the other monitor fleet is fighting, but not getting that much damage down the field. Those missile hits are just not landing. This Sarissa frigate's going to go down, which is going to make those containers even more powerful. Oh my, the humanity. Reactor's toast. No restores. That ship is done. It seems to still have its drive going. Which surprises me. A lot of the Sarissa's down. I think that's out of the fight. That's a pretty significant tool in the anti-container uh, toolkit. It's a big problem. Looks like another of these little escort ships is about to be destroyed. Oh, yeah, big hits. I don't understand. Are these missiles direct fire? Like, are these dumb fire missiles without tr seeker heads in them? They might be. Because they don't seem to be tracking on anything. PD potential's damaged. Reactor is out. That's going to have to be repaired. Looks like he's already on that. Damaged, damaged, damaged. Big problem. Damaged. Solomon player is just having a blast. Beholding forward. He's just kind of driving. Just out for a Sunday drive. Having a good time. Being a happy guy. The, uh, in what might be an incredible play, this Voxel ate all the mines on Alpha, allowing the uh, Gallatin Valley, the sprinter here, to cap the point with pretty much no competition. A few more missiles coming in and going out. Yeah, not sure what the deal is with those. This has been a very strange game. Overall, certainly going on the YouTube channel, no question of that. 
I don't upload everything I record, but I try to try to bring you all the good games and the weird ones. A lot of mines behind asteroids, which is a good idea if anything was coming over here. As it stands, the Shelter Alliance fleet is just big hanging out. And, I mean, honestly, that's all they really need to do. They've got a sprinter on capping. And if they can just stay over here and hold and deflect this monitor fleet, there's not that much the con two remaining container ships will be able to do in return, especially since... One of the container ships is completely out of offensive capabilities. That's this one. Right here. It's got, uh, oh yeah. Oh yeah, this, this is not going to be adding anything anytime soon. I guess it could cap a point. Oh, that's probably the voxel exploding. Yep. And it's going to eat the missiles that are coming on up here. Big... Oh, big if. Some of the missiles are going to get eaten. Not all of them. That means this sprinter is going to die. I don't think I've seen a sprinter hold up to one container, much less three. Oh, boy. Yeah, see you later. That's hosed. He's sending a few more in for good measure. A few more directly into the rock, that is. More missiles coming out. Yeah, Frank is out of here. That's not the guy. That's not even the guy who's who that belonged to. This monitor and Axford standoff is just so funny to me. They're both blasting missiles back and forth and back and forth and back and forth. Neither side's missiles really doing much. The protectorate missiles. It seems like plenty can get through the fleet. I don't know if he's using semi-actives and no illuminator or what, but it seems like they're not tracking, except when sometimes they do. I don't understand what's happening. On that front, and over here looks like, uh, yeah, missiles keep missing. Yeah, I really can't tell if they're using semi-actives or anti-rads, because some of these seem to track and some of them don't. And it's really odd. Oh boy, yeah, getting this Axford up into the cover of uh, Solomon's PD net is a good idea. Another round going out, but it looks like they've still got... Oh, there's that beam. Still got... Uh, going directly into a dead ship. Still got plenty of AMMs to handle. Missiles. It was not going into the red ship. It was going into this little scout frigate. Which was blasting a billbird. Oh, man. More missile hits here. Is anything going to get through? Yes, yeah, see, these are tracking on that Solomon. I don't know what kind of seeker head is in there. There might be anti-radiation. And uh, the extra team's turning off the radio radar and the Solomon team is not. I don't know. I, I really don't know. Both teams taking a lot of losses. This Solomon's really the only one that's... I guess the Solomon and this Axford are really the only combat ships remaining. Their escorts aren't too dangerous. And some Type 2s, but those Type 2s haven't done much. The staying power of these guns might be it. And Missile 2's done on that guy. No combat capacity. Another monitor going up. Uh, MLS2 is still active on this, but we don't know how many actually we do. Chaff decoys and 50 more missiles. I take it back. I thought these guys were running out of missiles. They're not even close. That monitor fleet is still in it, but they're going to have to go hard on the capping. They absolutely have to get Charlie or Alpha to get a point advantage because... The Alliance team is ahead on points. I think Alpha is pretty much free. Oh, yeah. Just these two ships, and they're both downed. Oh, there's uh, another one. It's very hazardous out here right now. Would not recommend you 
All casual listeners, stay out of the space lanes. Oh, and these rockets doing more good work against the Solomon. Because you don't have to worry about the shotgun blasts missing on a target this big and meaty. Solomon's red, Solomon's gray. Main engines are out. A lot of the thrusters are offline. Two peanards. I don't know why. I think this is our new player. Yeah, it's got to be the RCAF guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good showing so far. But it is just not enough. Bane. Is he shooting a life pod? Oh, yeah. He's shooting life pods. Maybe new, my friend, but you have just entered the Brotherhood of Nebulous by committing more crimes. Congratulations. Welcome to the family. Whole lot of point defense coming out of them. A lot of rockets running into an already dead ship. Or containers. They got stopped partially by the expert, but it looked like two ran into this. His mind's on Bravo. If this Axford team it takes it slow and steady, his mind's won't make a bit of difference, guys. More containers just going down, down, down. His container ship does not care. He's got containers to spare. He's going to keep firing. Oh, my, he does. A hundred more. Looks like he got his other container banks back online. Good use of those restorers. That puts him back in the fight. Oh, he's not really doing much with that opportunity. Just blasting out containers and blasting out containers isn't the way unless the Axford team has mysteriously turned off its point defenses. These are all going to hit. And that Solomon is going to take a huge amount of damage. Mines are coming in as well. Oh, no. Oh, no. And we got more containers coming in. These container ships are coming in clutch. They're dumping a lot of... Oh, my. Well, that's dead. Now it's even more dead. Oh boy, that is the deadest sprinter I've ever seen. Another container hitting on the nose of the Solomon. I think this Solomon's pretty much out of the fight. Oh yeah, one Citadel CIC. Yeah, Cam is right. Like. It is shocking. Not yet. But yeah, the OSP was so behind. And, uh... It looks like, I mean... They won't, they can't win with points. They're going to have to full kill the ENS team. And it looks like they're going to be able to do that. A lot of point defense coming in, but two container ships are just absolutely overwhelming. It's because when your shit gets hit, it fucking breaks. That is not correct. I saw some of Cam's stuff fire at the mines. Just not all of it. Oh, huge miss. Another big miss. And another miss. All right. See, that's that's what I'm talking about with the rockets. Is they just Containers are so slow and the staging is kind of wonky that if fired improperly, they can just miss. I don't think this guy has any point defense. Nope, none whatsoever. So those li those tempests are gonna do a lot of damage. Taking out two container banks. Looks like two container banks that are quite full. They're still launching somehow. 
And Solomon is toast. Sector to secure to Atlas. That's not good enough. You're going to have to grab all the other points. The Shelter Alliance team is ahead by far too much. More <laughs> going into the, the poor Solomon. He's already dead. Leave Brittany alone. This Axford is absolutely. Oh, man. Bathe in that radiation glow, baby. This Axford is the MVP of this match. There's another, another reactor explosion. Uh, there needs to be a statistic at the end on the on the AAR with how many reactor explosions there are. Neither of these got hit by it, which is good for them. This, as I've been trying to say, this Axford is the MVP of this match. No doubt about it. Been doing incredible work against the monitor fleet, uh, this monitor fleet, and fought well against the containers. Handled the mines, mopped them up, but he is going to go down to missiles. So many missiles. They've got to be unguided. I don't understand. ANS has a pretty clear military victory, I think. Well, maybe not. I don't know. It's pretty even. We got two container ships that are running out of munitions. A couple frigates. Plenty of point defense. This is really the only ship that's left in the fight for the Alliance team. Got a couple of scouts roaming around. Where has this Pinard been this whole game? Where are you, little Elant boy? I have no idea. I have no idea where this is. And I don't want to get away from this Axford because I don't want to miss things like that. Those are homing in just fine. I have no idea what that man's missile build is. But it's finally effective. A fan has surrendered. The game is over. And despite all the odds, the OSP has won. Very impressive. Good work. Don't pay any attention to Sandbag. Who is just... Really mad at his ship getting blown up by mines. That is a well-deserved victory. Uh-oh. Looks like I'm getting a bunch of errors. Hopefully no one who wanted to stick around got kicked. And here's the after-action report. 20,000 damage on this one single Axford. As previously stated, MVP of the match. No question. Fought so many things, survived for so long, didn't get out of the fight until he was completely annihilated by uh, rockets, uh, semi-guided slash semi-not-guided missiles. I don't know what was going on there. And containers. Yeah, it wouldn't surprise me if our uh, voxel friend ran out of rounds. In fact, we can just go check on that. A most sandbag cam and missile defense destroyed. That was carried 160. Okay, no, so he had plenty. He had too many, actually. 168,000 is way too many. That's way too many. So I don't know what was going on there. If it was bad ship angling or, yeah, just mad because bad. I don't, I don't know. Let's take a look at our Solomon player. Yikes. Didn't even fire that many railgun rounds. That's very unfortunate. That's okay. Uh, hopefully this was a learning experience for him. Didn't use the hang-up. Oh, no. Didn't battle short the hang-up. Did use the hang-up. That's good. Could have gotten some cheeky mica. In fact, that might have been what killed that monitor fleet i was blaming it on comms but i did not consider hangups can penetrate through asteroids normal jammers can't but hangups actually can he might have just blind fired that at the point and wiped out that enemy team if that if that that fleet if that's so very impressive play on his part 
the Hanandes here. 31,000 damage, pretty good, respectable, respectable container fleet damage. 39,000 damage, these containers certainly pulled their weight in a way that this poor guy did not. He was here, he was participating, no, 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 not this guy, this other guy, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just no damage on any of these ships, real sad, they all got waxed by mines, very unfortunate. This Pashmina here did a lot of damage with the Bunny Walker. Very nice. Plasma's doing work. I still don't... Okay, so yeah, semi-active radars. So I think the problem was he kept firing out semi acts without uh, painting a target with Illuminators. Because he did bring Illuminators. And uh, that would explain why those were tracking sometimes and not tracking other times. <laughs> Whoops. All right, that is the game. I hope you all enjoyed. Have a good night.